All right, uh, last video today. Uh, we're going to try and uh, do the two-hole method uh, for a bow drill. So this is uh, one of those alternative methods that is described in Mars uh, Kohansky's book on bushcraft. And he provides a <clears throat> not a whole lot of detailed account of, of the bow drill, but he gives some diagrams of some altern alternative methods one of them being the uh, two stick and uh, I provided a video of that the next one is the two hole and the two hole he has this rather kind of interesting description on there that sort of says that this is the best approach which is very vexing to me because I don't quite understand why it's the best approach uh, because it's certainly very difficult but that's what we're going to attempt today uh, and uh, so uh, the two hole basically is another raised platform method and what we will uh, do is, is we're going to drill out uh, two holes uh, they're going to be in close proximity together so that the second hole basically its its divot is going to overlap slightly with the first uh, again hole. we're dealing with uh, basswood here so basswood's a little bit softer uh, should make my life a little bit easier. I don't think that this is an easy technique, but it's a technique nonetheless, and sometimes that's useful to learn. So we're going to going to make my first hole here. And again, the purpose in making this first hole is just to drill it uh, out very quickly. And uh, so we're going to use uh, the uh, we're going to use the ash spindle to drill out that hole, get it nice and deep, and drill it as fast as we can. We're not trying to collect dust or do anything fancy here. We're simply making a deep hole. Probably pretty good. So, right now we're about three quarters of an inch deep on that first hole, and that's about usually about the thickness of the hearth that I like to deal with. So, we've got all of this dust that was created by drilling uh, this first hole out, and Let's make our life a little easier and pop some of that dust into that first hole. No reason to uh, have to create all that in the second hole. So I'm going to actually switch my drill to the uh, cottonwood drill because it's a little bit better length. Plus, I'm still of the belief that when you have the drill and hearth out of the same materials, you get a little bit better results. I understand that's not always the case, but um, I want to do everything I possibly can to optimize my success at this point. So I've got a drill that's been used. It's already fairly well shaped, so I understand the divot. And what you want is the center. You want the center of the divot to overlap with the first hole. And uh, so we're, I'm going to just sort of mark where that's going to be. It's okay if you're a little bit off because you can form a sort of little bridge between your first hole and uh, your second. Again, we are starting the second divot and I've switched my spindle to the cottonwood. I've just sort of shaved that headpiece a little bit sharper so like it's a bit easier to deal with. And we're starting to get the burn in now of the second divot. And I'm just going to stop it there. And give you a bit of a view here of what's going on. So we've got the first hole. This first hole is about three quarters of an inch 
deep and we got the second hole and I probably could have got my second hole a little bit closer still so what I'm going to do is just carve out a little connecting bridge here that's going to allow that dust to funnel into hole number one going to start again. A little bit of wind picking up. That good smoke. there, but not quite. Now we're going to start again. Got some heat, a little bit of smoke persistent. I think we might have it. So there we go. Grab the camera. So we got the two hole. We can see the ember formed in the second hole. Nice smoke. The uh, the actual wind out here, uh, a little bit of wind today, is keeping that uh, that ember fanned. And we're just going to blow this into That's flames the, uh, next. Again, uh, in more Kohansky's book, he, he sort of claims this is the best technique. Um, we did get it to work, but I've only really been able to get it to work under what I would say is almost optimal conditions. Um, I'm going to blow this into flames because it's always fun to blow a coal into flames. Today I've got a, a different mixture of tinder material. I have a little bit of uh, uh, birch bark at the bottom, some uh, shredded up cedar. Cedar works really great for generating what I call almost a super coal. And then a little bit of uh, uh, milkweed fluff here as a flash tinder. So just like, just like the uh, the two stick, there's I, don't, I had the ember actually fall right into my hand, which is not all that fun. But transferring the coal is one of the issues of this technique. And once we get that birch bark going, we have a nice little situation on our hands. I'll try not to burn my backyard as we let this go. Just feeding this with my uh, drill uh, shavings. So that's the uh, that's the two hole. Uh, again, drill a first hole first. Don't get caught into the game of trying to alternate between uh, you know the, the first hole and the second hole. What you want to do is get a hard spindle, and you can use anything here. Use oak, use maple, use anything really tough and drill that first hole in no bones about it get it about you know three quarters of an inch to an inch dip deep into your hearth and then start the second spindle and you're forming the coal off the second hole uh, so uh, that's basically the the trick uh, the one thing I can't quite figure out and I guess if you if you have the the edges perfectly aligned then uh, the, the the drill is going to continue to uh, essentially uh, dump your dust into hole number one. What I sort of find happens is you're good for a while and then the drill tip um, digs deeper into the hearth in your second hole compared to uh, 
acting as sort of a bridge between the two holes. So you get too deep on hole number two and your dust is no longer getting kicked into the notch of the second hole. So you have to sort of periodically stop and make sure that that little bridge between hole number one and hole number two extends all the way uh, to the tip and a slightly deeper than the tip when you first start drilling. But that's the, uh, the, the two hole. And uh, I remember the first time I did the two hole, having almost no success. And I sort of concluded that I had two words about the two hole. And they weren't thank you. <laughs>